Welcome back to my channel, I'm James. Today we're going to be reviewing and deep diving into Rocky, the Knockout Collection, the brand new 4K Ultra HD release. Now this box set includes the first four films and five cuts of the movies. Now I did get this in early for review and it's taken me a lot of time to go through testing and analyzing each and every one of the discs in this box set. And that's something I exclusively do here on my YouTube channel. I'll share all of my testing data and results. And then at the end, I always wrap it up with my review score that lets you know the total sum up of this box set, if it's something worth buying or something you should skip altogether. Now I'm gonna start off by answering one of the big questions I've gotten a lot of questions here on my YouTube channel about. Why is this released with basically the four movies and five cuts? Why is it missing the other Rocky movies? Well, it's a pretty easy answer. The studio had only completed the work on these ones and they were not done with the 4K restorations of the other Rocky movies, so they decided to release these in a box set, and then later on, they are going to release the rest of them in individual 4K releases. So to me, I'm fine with that because I'd rather get some to enjoy now, to go into and enjoy during this time, and then later on add those individual titles later on. But that's kind of just the explanation from the studio, of their thought process behind it. Now we're gonna start off with here the native images off of the Blu-ray disc. Now as always, this is something I exclusively do with these 4K versus when I get to the Blu-ray here, image comparisons. I take all the native data off of these discs that's not basically altered by the artificial things your TV can do. This is the native image present on these discs. Now this is the latest release of the Rocky movies when they did basically an update on it and this is the one that I own on Blu-ray. As you can see on the case these are the Rocky movies that were included in that and we're going to be comparing the four movies to the 4K collection here when I get to that here in just a second. But I want to start off with the native image of the Blu-ray here. It was a decent and it was better looking than the previous Blu-rays before that. So if you don't own the Blu-ray release that you see here then any of the ones that were before that are actually even a poorer looking release than what you see above. Now do keep in mind the Blu-rays always had a softer image. I mean due to the time period, some of the lenses they used and things like that, it's always important to understand how things were filmed, lenses, filters, things like that to understand when you're going into these reviews. And I've talked a lot about that over the years on this channel is, is you can get a false review if you don't understand the actual elements and properly what is actually being restored, remastered, a restoration, things like that. Now in comparison to the brand new 4K restorations they did, this did get a brand new 4K scan from the original camera negatives, which is what they did and worked on with this new 4K restoration. Now in comparison, that image up there is always the native 4K image pulled directly from these discs. But keep in mind about one thing, that is always standard HDR. So this does have Dolby Vision and HDR10 on this release. But what you see above, YouTube always dumbs down those images to standard HDR. So whether they're Dolby Vision, HDR10 doesn't matter because all you're gonna see up there is standard HDR. So if you have a professionally or correctly set up high-end display, 4K player, things like that, the image will look quite a bit better than what you see above because that's standard HDR and obviously Dolby Vision, which is the winner on this one just to let you know, is about 5% better looking than the HDR10 is. Now, is 5% gonna blow you away? No, but it was just slightly noticeable enough that the Dolby Vision was the one that I preferred to watch this in. Now I'm gonna show you a close-up image above and it's actually of Rocky, Sylvester Stallone's character, his face and his eyes basically, showing you close up what the details are between the images of what you see on this 4K Ultra HD release versus the Blu-ray. Now, like I was saying, that's the native image on the Blu-ray above and it's a softer image, but it was a decent looking Blu-ray. But in comparison to the 4K, you can see so much more details. Like if you look like between his eyes, you can see like his pores, you can see the hairs on like his eyebrows, you can see the pores on his nose, so much more detailed, his face, you can see like the little hairs on his face. That's to show you how much more depth and detail is present on these 4K Ultra HD releases than what you had on the previous Blu-ray releases before. You can also notice so much more like I was talking about with that color grading and how it got a brand new color grading and master. You can see that so much better on the skin tones on Rocky, Sylvester Stallone's character. Man, does his skin look so much better than it did on the previous Blu-ray as well. 
Make sure so that you never miss out on any of this exclusive content, just like these image comparisons and all of these early analysis and reviews that I exclusively do here on my YouTube channel. Make sure to go down and give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you're one of the first ones to get notified whenever I release any of these analysis or comparison review videos. So make sure to go down there, give this video a like and a thumbs up for me, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Now we're gonna talk about some of the negative things here before we get into more of the positive. I kinda of wanna get the negative out of the way right away. The negative things I did encounter when I went through my testing on this is, there is some slight digital noise, there is some slight DNR applied in some random scenes throughout it. It's not too heavy, it's not heavily done, but to my eye, I can clearly see there is some slight DNR applied in some scenes. But on the positive side of it, the film grain is nicely filmic. It's very present throughout it. There was some slight fluctuations in the film grain throughout, which has to do with the original film elements and what they were scanning to create this native 4K. But the actual digital noise that you'll encounter slightly throughout each of the films, um, those are things that come from when they're doing the restoration and basically some of that wasn't cleaned up as well as it probably should have been. Now that'll affect my review score later on, but I do want to reference that it's slight on this. It is not heavy. It is not one of these things that you're going to sit there and say, man, this was a horrible release. I'm so upset I bought it. The Blu-ray was better. It's not. The Blu-ray, as you're noticing those images above, is not better than the 4K. Um, in a lot of areas that it was soft on that Blu-ray, there is so much more detail and life present on this. Now with that new Dolby Vision, they did a brand new Dolby Vision HDR10 color grading and master for that, which lends to these films beautifully. If most of you remember a lot of the boxing scenes in the arena, a lot of those like his boxing shorts and things like that had the American flag on them and obviously some of the characters he fought like Creed and the American flag, things like that. And it very much needed a brand new color grading because on the Blu-rays, it looked okay but it did not have the pop that in real life it would have looked like. And the pop is here in this. Man, does it shine through great with the Dolby Vision and HDR10. Though the Dolby Vision, I enjoyed just slightly more because it did have just a little bit better of a pop to it. I just thought the color grading looked slightly better on the Dolby Vision on this. Now touching on one more of the slight negatives is, I'm gonna show you an image up above of the boxing arena. Now there is some slight black crush present on the 4 case. Now, it's always been in a lot of those darker scenes on the Blu-rays, hard to see a lot of detail in the dark scenes that were especially on like Rocky 1. There's a lot of like nighttime scenes or him waking up and things like that and it's very hard to see some of those. On the 4K, some of that got exasperated just slightly more. And again, I'm using the word slightly because when you sit and see them side by side, like in that image that I'm showing you above, what you can see is when you look to the top corners of the screen using that image you see above where it's showing basically the boxing arena and you see like the seats way up in the top corners. When you're looking at the Blu-ray versus the 4K, you'll see at the 4K it's just slightly harder to see some of those seats way up in the top corners of the screen versus the Blu-ray you can just slightly see them a little more. Now that is not horrible throughout the entire film set, it's not horrible throughout each and every movie. It was mostly noticeable Rocky 1, Rocky 2, and then I'd say Rocky 3, 4, and the cuts of the fourth. I didn't have those issues. So it was mostly a Rocky 1, Rocky 2 thing that you could slightly notice there was a little bit more Black Crush, but we're talking slight here. It does not ruin the experience of watching the films for me. And it is one of those things, understanding it, I'll take the upgrade in the details and the depth to the image that you get with these 4Ks, over the Blu-rays any day because of the softer appearance overall the Blu-rays had, this has so much more details present in it that you can see, especially because they left a lot of that natural film grain throughout it. Man, you can see so much more and it looks really good for all of the Rocky movies on here compared to the Blu-rays that they released previously. Now, if you decide after watching this review and hearing my review score that you want to buy the Rocky Knockout Collection or any of the individual titles, I will have them linked out down below in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. You click on that down there, it takes you straight out to Amazon. It's on sale for the same price as everywhere through those links. And when you click on those links, it never charges you even a penny extra, but those do help to support this YouTube channel just a tiny bit. So make sure if after you get done watching this review, you do decide you want to buy the Rocky Knockout Collection or any of the individual Rocky titles. 
I'll list as many of those as I can down in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. So that way, if you decide you're wanting to buy this, click on those links I've posted down below. Now these Rocky movies came out between 1976 and 1985. I've always enjoyed the Rocky movies. My dad took me to see them and it was always kind of one of those things, it's kind of about an underdog coming up, the things he goes through, the drama, the boxing drama, everything kind of revolving around it. And I've always thought of the Rocky movies as kind of the godfather of boxing movies in the sense of, because there's so many ongoing stories throughout it and the drama on it and things that happens to his family and you know matches and all of that surrounding it, I just kind of really enjoyed them as kind of an ongoing story that you sit back and it kind of reminded me of like a TV series but in movies. And you're just kind of learning about his life, the people in his life, and kind of growing with him through each event that he's had. So I've always enjoyed the films and they are good classic 70s and 80s films that, I mean, the music you can't go wrong with. I mean, anybody knows anything about Rocky, they know exactly about the theme song from Rocky 1. And it is really a good underdog coming about story. Now, touching on the audio for this release, this did get a brand new remastered for this release audio mix that's an English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 and the original theatrical 2.0. It's nice they gave us both options, especially remastering the audio specifically for this release. And I will say, this is the best sounding that any of these Rocky movies have ever sounded since I can remember originally going to see them in theaters. And they sound really good. I will say over the previous Blu-rays, it was a nice drastic improvement. I didn't notice as many of the clicks and hisses and little issues I noticed with the audio that you could hear on the original Blu-rays. Um, they weren't horrible, but you could hear them every once in a while. They're gone on this. They really did a superb job. The clarity on it, both with the original 2.0 and I really enjoyed the remastered 5.1 because you can hear so much more with it. You could definitely hear the clarity, the crispness behind it. And I did think that was a very nice improvement for this set and was a nice addition that made this a worthwhile upgrade in that sense as well. Now, the only negative thing I do want to mention about all of the audio mixes is it does still have those fluctuations where it will go, and it's always been this way on every Blu-ray release, every home video release, where you'll have some scenes where it's just a couple decibels lower and then the next scene gets just a couple decibels higher. Now, it's not horrible where I felt like it was like three or four decibels louder up and down, but it was about two. So it's just slightly fluctuations in the audio mix that have always been present, but they did fix all of those other little things like the hisses, the clicks, all that kind of stuff was fixed on this that really made this sound better overall. I'm just kind of being nitpicky for all of you. As always, I try to give all of the details of what I discover when I do all of my testing. And that's one of them is, is that it is just about two decibels. You'll notice it go up and down. And that was pretty much present on each and every one of the films in this box set. Now touching on the color grading here, something else you'll notice drastically above in comparison to the old Blu-rays is that the new color grading lends to their skin tones looking so much better overall. Now the image above you're gonna see is of Stallone obviously going for his boxing and you can drastically see on his skin tones, especially across like his chest. It looks more natural on this and more lifelike than it did on the previous Blu-ray releases. So the brand new color grading they did for this does lend to a much better viewing experience color-wise that looks more natural and lifelike than it ever did on the previous Blu-rays before this as well. Now, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Now showing you what you get in this, you get this really nice outer boxing on it. I did like how it had little different pictures of each of it. Talking about that you get the theatrical version plus the Rocky vs. Drago, the ultimate director's cut, and then the making of Rocky vs. Drago, keep punching. On the side here, it does say Rocky, the knockout collection. Then it talks about a little bit more on the back. You do get a digital movies code for the 4K editions of this that is included in here as well. And the films are rated between PG and PG-13, but none of these did I feel were really over the top. I've always enjoyed them. They are boxing movies, so it is violent for a boxing movie, but it's not like it's MMA or anything like that. So I did think that they were they're enjoyable films without being too extreme. Now, when you get inside here, you do get your 4K discs here, and they are on black printed discs here. Now, it does say Dolby Vision HDR on it. Now, the one thing you will notice, if you can kind of see this, 
Uh, the case, I didn't wash it and clean it out yet because it was really, really sticky. It has that really bad residue that I've talked about before here on this YouTube channel. I had to clean each and every one of the discs because I did have numerous playback issues because of the sticky kind of residue that was left over on this from the cases and things and how it basically breathes from the black plastic and causes that to appear a lot of the times on these black cases. It was on the disc. Now I did first play them without cleaning them so that way I could see if there was playback issues for that residue that's on them and there was. Then I cleaned them and played them and tested them again and there was no playback issues whatsoever. Now there is a video I did on how to properly clean your 4K discs without scratching them and without using any special like cleaner or anything like that. It's a very simple and easy way to do it and it doesn't damage your discs at all and it's something you can do over and over again. If you wanna check out that video, it's available on this YouTube channel right now. It works very easily and I've never had any issues with it because of how it's done. But anyhow, if you want more details about it, make sure to check out that video, but you will need to clean each of these before you play them or you will have playback issues. I had them on every single one until I cleaned them. On the discs, I did test them. They are all 100% region free. So no matter what of these discs that are in this box set, including the Blu-ray disc at the end, which has most of your special features on it, every single one of these discs is 100% region free. So no matter where you live worldwide, if you're wanting to buy this or import this through this link I've posted down below from Amazon, it'll ship anywhere worldwide. You'll have no issues playing any of these discs whatsoever. Now getting to some more of my testing, I did test out the rough average bit rates on these. Now, for Rocky 1, it had a rough average bit rate of a healthy 70 megabits per second. It's not gonna blow you away as the best thing you've ever seen up in the 90s, the 100s, but it was pretty stable at 70 megabits per second, and that's a healthy one, and I did enjoy it, and that's what lended to the overall image looking so good on Rocky 1 as well, other than those slight issues I talked about with some slight, like I said, black crush and slight digital noise. Um, those things, I don't wanna ruin the experience for you and say they're a horrible thing. It's just some of the small little nitpicky things I noticed when I went through my testing. Now for Rocky 2, it did have the lowest average bitrate of all of the films in this box set. It got a 66 rough average megabits per second. And it was noticeable that there was slightly more film grain fluctuations. And I did notice a little bit more fluctuations overall on Rocky 2, more so than I did on one or the other ones, but it's slight. Again, here I'm being super nitpicky. Those are just slight nitpicky things. Now for Rocky 3, it had an amazing 84 megabits per second. So Rocky 3 was the winner with the best rough average bitrate of all of the films, Rocky 1, 2, 3, or the other cuts of four, it was the best and the most stable of all of them. That one won the award for the best rough average bit rate of all of them. And then for the Rocky IV disc, you get a 72 megabits per second rough average bit rate for that one. And that one was healthy and good as well. It's just that the Rocky III definitely had a huge one up just slightly with the bit rate on that. But overall for the entire box set, those are good average bit rates. I mean, they're not down in the 30s, 40s, 50s where you start to notice more of those issues. Every single one of these was 66 megabits or above, which is a good job. They did a good job not over compressing things, compressing it down or causing issues with that. Those little nitpicky things I'm trying to make sure that you understand are just me being extra nitpicky because I do all of these side-by-side -side image comparisons. I pick up on more of that stuff than a lot of people ever will because of how much in-depth analysis I really do. But I always share all of that with all of you so that way you know if you do see a little bit of those things, you are aware of them going into this, what you're getting out of this box set. But the image itself is such a huge upgrade over the previous Blu-rays that those little nitpicky things are not going to ruin the experience for you. It's still a very nice and very enjoyable viewing experience. The audio was a nice improvement and the image has so much depth and detail behind it, especially because a lot of that natural film grain is present throughout each and every one of the films in this box set, that it lends to these 4Ks looking very filmic and just really nice and beautiful in a lot of images throughout it that really blew away the previous Blu-ray releases that even those nitpicky things, man, this is still a nice healthy improvement over what we ever got released previously before. Now talking about the special features in this box set, it really does include a plethora of special features. Just about everything that I could see from previous Blu-ray releases was included in this, 
plus some new ones that it talked about that I explained at the beginning here. So it does have a really good special features options in this box set. So that was a nice thing because you really aren't missing out on anything that I could really see. Now touching on subtitles, I did just want to touch on, you do get English, French, Spanish, and some other options on this. So there is plenty of options for subtitles if you need those as well, as well as some other audio options in different languages. So those are nice options that they didn't skimp on those. They put a bunch of different options for everyone as well. Now getting to my review score for the Rocky Knockout Collection on 4K Ultra HD. I think they did a good job with this 4K restoration. Yeah, there's some slight nitpicky things, but overall I thought it was an enjoyable and very good 9.1. It is recommended to own and buy this. This is the best the Rocky movies have ever looked on home video. It doesn't matter what of the releases that have come out, this is the best looking each and every one of these films has ever looked in my opinion. And the truest to what I originally saw when I went to see it back in theaters with my dad and those memories from that many years ago. So I did appreciate, and that's where I said those slight nitpicky things, that's why it gets a 9.1. It couldn't be a reference quality release because of some of those slight issues that I did mention earlier on in this review. But a 9.1 is a very good review score and it is a recommended release to buy and own this and add this to your collection. I personally think you should buy it in the box set. Price-wise, it's a better value and price-wise for it in the box set. I like that each one had leaflets instead of it being stacked on just basically one stack in the box set, they're each on leaflets. So the box set I did enjoy and I liked it. I was glad I got it and added it to my collection because as I said, I've always enjoyed the 70s and 80s boxing movies with Stallone in them. Like I said, to me, they're kind of the Godfather series of boxing movies and I really like how the story always continued. They do have varying quality though. I will say that Rocky V, which isn't in this, isn't really my favorite. So it not being in this and then planning on releasing it as a standalone release later on, I'm okay with. I'll still get it to test it and review it. But I do like these first four the best. So I'm okay with the way this box set was released. And it's a 9.1. It's a recommended, very good 4K Ultra HD release that you need to buy and add to your collection especially if you like films to look filmic. Now do keep in mind, there are some scenes that will appear extra soft. Now that is specifically due to the camera lenses that were specifically used in Rocky 1, Rocky 2, and very briefly in Rocky 3. It seems like Rocky 4, they stopped using a lot of those and there wasn't as many of those, but there is some scenes you will notice, especially in Rocky 1 and 2, where it does get a softer, almost dreamlike appearance. That is not something wrong with your release. It was not something wrong done with this. That is something that a camera lens was used when they were doing it to give a hazy or soft appearance to that scene. Now it looks drastically better on this 4K Ultra HD release than it did on the Blu-ray because they're bringing everything they possibly can with this brand new scan and restoration from the original camera negatives. But it will never go away. Those scenes are always going to look that way, just slightly softer because of the camera lenses used that is not something that was done wrong. And I hear it reported every once in a while from people that just don't understand the original film elements or the original camera elements that are used when filming or creating these movies originally. And they say, oh, there was a soft scene, so horrible review score for it. Well, in this one, because these films came out in 1976 through 1985, it is a softer lens they used in certain scenes to give it a dreamlike appearance. That is intentional and it is not something wrong with this release. But it's a 9.1. It's a great release. I highly recommend buying it and adding it to your collection. 9.1 is still a very good review score. And these are ones that I am excited to finally own on 4K Ultra HD. And they're fun to watch. And they're a fun movie collection to own. Now that you've heard my review score and watched this review, if you decide that you're going to buy this and add this to your collection, Make sure to click through those links I posted in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. Those take you straight out to Amazon. They're never at any extra cost to you when you click on those links, but make sure if you're gonna buy this now to click on those links that I posted down below. Also, make sure to start the conversation in the comment section below and let me know which of these films are your favorite. If you're excited now to get the Rocky collection now that you've seen my exclusive testing and analysis with my exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons, Make sure to start that conversation down below. I always love to hear from all of you. As always, it's very important if you enjoy all of the hard work and time that I put into every one of these exclusive image comparisons that I do, 
make sure to join my Collector's VIP Club. It always costs you less than a couple of bucks each month, but it helps in the continued creation of these videos. I'm not sponsored or paid by anybody, and I can only always continue to do this with all of you, my subscribers and VIP Club member support. So make sure to join my Collector's VIP Club or give a super thanks to the super thanks button right below this video. It allows you to give a tip of any amount all of that money goes right back into the creation of these videos. And that's the only way I can always continue to spend all this time, weeks after weeks, testing and analyzing all of these releases for all of you. So make sure to join my Collector's VIP Club or give a super thanks down below. Don't forget to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. I had a lot of fun with this one. It did take me a whole lot more time to go through and do all of these image comparisons and pull all of this data off of the disc to show them side by side. I hope you really enjoyed this today because this was something I wanted to spend extra time to show you all this detailed analysis. As always, I hope all of you have a blessed day and I've always got something new and exciting coming out very soon.